Let's be honest, if you're a gamer and a content creator, there are two CPUs that have your attention. The Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which has been like the king of gamers for a while, and the Intel Core i7, or should I say now, the Intel Core Ultra 7. Okay, so starting with Cinebench, single core performance was far stronger on the 7800X 3D than the 265K. But nay nay, shouts the 265K with its can of bat repellent V-Cache shark spray, it's multi-core time. With a 91% lead over the 7800X 3D, the 265K got in a solid dig. Right now, when we look at power and thermals under load, which this was in Cinebench, by the way, the 7800X 3D averaged 77 degrees Celsius while drawing just under an average of 86 watts. The 265K, however, ran four degrees cooler at 73 degrees Celsius while drawing an average of just over 179 watts. The 265K scored around 2% higher in Premiere and it fell about 20% behind the 7800X 3D score in Photoshop. The 265K ran 13 degrees cooler than a 7800X 3D during gaming while only drawing about four watts on average more. That means that the 265K requires less cooling and it can go in small form factor builds to boot. If you need gaming performance now, go with the 7800X 3D. At this point in time, you know exactly what you're getting. If you need strong multi-core performance for anything beyond gaming like content creation, coding, or you wanna put all your chips on AI integration and gaming, and you have to make that bet right this very second, go with the Core Ultra 7.